Georgia is set to execute Willie James Pye for the murder of his ex-girlfriend in 1993. Even though IQ tests and examination by experts determined he is mentally disabled, and the Supreme Court ruled in 2002 that executing people with intellectual disabilities is unconstitutional. Pai was convicted in 1996 for the murder of his on-and-off girlfriend, Alicia Lynn Yarbrough, who had recently had a baby with another man. Pai joined two other friends to rob Yarbrough, forced her out of her home and abandoned her infant. They, repeatedly, raped her in a nearby motel, before taking her on a dirt road, where Pai ordered her to lie face down before shooting her three times with a handgun, according to court filings. Pai's public defender, Johnny Mostyler, was a notorious attorney in Spalding County, where he was paid a lump sum of $340,000 in 1996 to represent thousands of felony cases. According to Pai's clemency application, Mostyler became known as the meet em, greet em, plead em, public defender due to his heavy caseload and reputation for putting in little work. The Death Penalty Information Center reported Mostyler only worked about 150 hours on Pi's case, while effective capital defenses typically take thousands of hours. While representing Curtis Osborne in 1991, Mostyler allegedly said, The little n asterisk 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 deserves the death penalty. When one of Mostyler's clients complained to a judge in 2000 about his use of racial slurs, he told the judge, honestly can't say whether he used it or not. Another one of Mostyler's clients, Kenneth Fultz, was executed in 2016 for a 1996 murder and burglary. Mostyler reportedly fell asleep during Fultz's trial, a juror later testified in an affidavit. In his clemency application, Pai's attorneys claim that Mostyler never investigated his background, which shows a crushing number of risk factors for developing mental disabilities. Pai was born into extreme poverty in rural Georgia, with a father in prison and an illiterate mother who struggled to feed six other children. His mother worked as a local field hand for 10 to 12 hours a day, while leaving her children, including infants, to fend for themselves. She later testified to the court that she drank while pregnant with Willie. According to his lawyers, Pai's brain development was derailed by poor nutrition, lack of stimulation when he was an infant and fetal alcohol syndrome, and was exacerbated by the fact that his parents did not require him to go to school. After he was released from prison, Pai was the target of abuse from his alcoholic father, who claimed he was too stupid to be his kid. Even though Georgia was the first state to outlaw the execution of mentally disabled people, defendants face an insurmountably high standard required to use this defense. According to Georgia law, defendants must prove they are intellectually disabled beyond a reasonable doubt.